Oh, yeah, it was like that. It was like that. It was just, um, I could make it another little, little piece like that. And then I began to think, how, how are all of these? Um, I began to realize what it was. It was about, you know, what what is the story? Because that's really what the what it is about. And so uh, I began to understand a little bit more about um, how that question could be asked and, and what stories are and why you tell them, what happens when you tell them too often, what to, <coughs> happens when you forget them, what happens when somebody pastes one onto you. And so the uh, other uh, story structures became what I, I started, started thinking about. And then I tried to figure out how to, to pull those uh, different uh, things together. And, and you made it now. You made it, you made it over the last period of time. It, so it's a different kind of story than you would have told if you had been asked to make it five years earlier, presumably. Can you talk a little bit maybe about what was going, you know, what was happening, how it factored into your personal process, maybe? Yeah, I, I don't know how, uh, um, it's, it's hard to imagine, you know, what you would have made or what you could have made. So it's just what I made. So. Um, some of the things that did change it were, uh, for example, um, while I was working on this, one of my brothers called and said, I, I have all of these boxes with films from my childhood. I know you're making a film. Could, would you mind just transferring them? I was like, kind of busy. <laughs> <laughs> OK, uh, so. Was there a moment like that for you when you were watching that, where you realized, I've been having living in this mythology, and this is something that I'm going to explore through the footage in the film. Was there an aha moment or a surprising moment in seeing that? Yeah, yeah, there was, but it was also um, complicated by the many filters that you know your memory puts in front of you as you remember things. And in this case, it was a um, it was eight millimeter, which is so beautiful when you just slow it down. It just looks so so otherworldly. So it, it had the the feeling of of um, all of the the ways that you remember and misremember your your past. Uh, sometimes, for example, you know you think, oh, I'm going to remember what it was like to be a kid, and and sometimes it, it, it almost seems like they're wearing the wrong clothes. They're wearing the clothes from a past, but not the past that they were living in. The clothes maybe clothes from the 40s instead of the 60s. You know what I mean? So you get a lot of things wrong when you're remembering uh, stuff. So um, uh, there. And I tried to respect those filters of, of how, how much you get wrong by making these kind of scratchy sort of things that you sort of see through or try to see through.